You recently wrote an article that I probably could have used last year yeah. and uh, everybody could use right now. It's called anxiety, yeah. depression, and what you need to know about doom scrolling. Coming off of 2020, like we could really use this. Amen. Yeah. So, so tell us, Carrie, what inspired you to write this article? Well, you know, to be um, transparent, I, you know, I kind of feel like we kind of share this low just as humans. I mean, being inundated with constant bad news, you know, mm -hmm. I found myself just holding a lot of bad news more than I really wanted to, but also feeling like with everything that's happening in the world with coronavirus and all the cultural things, like it's just like this, you know, bad um, storm that you can't look away from, mm. you know? And so I somehow, um, yeah, felt like uh, this would just be very relevant to our time. Um, and, and when I, when I wrote this article, I felt like, you know, we were kind of coming off of the, um, kind of, you know, the, the big peaks of coronavirus and, and now, you know, things have kind of started to ramp up again. And so it just felt like, you know, a very timely, um, thing to address. So. Yeah, indeed. It does need to be addressed. I mean, I've always been the, to the idea that bad news sells. Yeah. I mean, if you, if yeah. you watch the news, do you ever hear good news? Yeah. yeah that's and crazy. I don't want to hear good news. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah it's because that are. bad news, it sells. Um, other than myself, uh, who is this article written for? Yeah. You know, I feel like it's written for all of us. Um, and unless you kind of live off the grid, and in your, unless you have really good boundaries to be able to um, block a lot of um, this inundation mm -hmm. you know, from coming at you. Otherwise it's, it's everywhere you turn, you know, um, and, and everywhere in culture, not, you don't have to turn on a news station, but you can even just, you know, turn on your football game or your, you know, anything, your social media, and it's just always there. So yeah, know. yeah, the news is always breaking. It's on your phone. It's mm -hmm. you're right. It is everywhere. Mm -hmm. You mentioned some things that I thought were pretty interesting. Um, and again, like I said, I could have used this last year. Uh, everybody could now we, yeah. we can really use it again. Um, but you mentioned some things uh, that there are actually effects of this doom scrolling when you're constantly being inundated with just awful news. Uh, you mentioned health effects to it. I mean, it affects your stress levels. It's just so many things. Talk to us and tell us, like, what are some of the effects and maybe it'll kind of encourage us to, to take the shift away from <laughs> just constantly being in bad news. Yeah. Well, yeah, like you said, there's, um, there's mental, um, emotional effects, and then there's physical effects. I think when we are in this constant of um, just uh, reading this bad news, and it's one thing on top of the other, and it's not even our own hometown, but it's across the country or across the world, you know, we can tend to see the world as just completely unsafe and negative, you know, and we can get this sense of feeling unsafe in the world. Um, constantly kind of wear these glasses that just the world is just a terrible place to, to be, um, which is not necessarily true. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of good in the world and good things that happen. Um, but, but with that, that can just produce this loop of anxiety um, and, and then depression can follow that, you know, mm -hmm. and anxiety being the sense of like, I need to know what's going to happen. I know something is going to happen. I need to be on top of it and be able to kind of, um, you know, get, get there um, or get to it before it gets me in a way. Um, so it's this kind of gnawing sense of needing to kind of be on top of what's happening and to know everything that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, 
And, and when you're in that loop, then that can trigger these physical um, effects, you know, when you're seeing this negative, all these negative pictures and words just blasting um, mm -hmm. in the face all the time, you, these stress hormones get released, the adrenaline and cortisol get released. And that over time, you know, that's a chronic um, uh, thing that's happening over time can cause headaches, can cause heart disease, weight gain, high blood pressure, and then just in a sense of just burnout, you know, of just yeah. holding too much that is you're not meant to hold. So. Yeah, so I think I put something together when I when I read the article. Um, I read uh, something from the from the news. I was doom scrolling. Uh, <laughs> it, that last year, the the two biggest killers were COVID and suicide. Mm -hmm. And you know, I kind of put this together like how much of just the constant bad news, how much does it really affect us? You know, affects us it greatly, you know? And I think this should be a wake up call for us. Mm -hmm. You know, what are we filling our minds with? What are we filling our, our lives with? I mean, yeah, I think I got to a point last year when my wife was like, turn off the news now, you know? Yeah. Cause it was, yeah. I mean, it was even getting to me, you know, cause you can't escape all of the bad news. and. Mm -hmm. I think just that's that's kind of a wake up call. If if that's all we're we're doing, we're constantly ingesting in our lives, our mental, mm -hmm. it could be bad. It mm -hmm. could be bad, and, and the, it's not just the the physical aspects it can have; it's the mental aspects that it can have. And I and I really appreciate you bringing that up. It's mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. So walk us through and help us out of the funk. Help us out of the doomsday scrolling. You know, yeah. what are some practical steps that we can do? to mm -hmm. stop sure well i think it's helpful to even understand the addictive nature of it because when you are doing scrolling you know and use, using the term scrolling right say you're on a device or your mm -hmm. phone or or even you know now our t tvs are, are digital you can pull up any an app you know anything yeah. anytime and just right. whatever you want and so I think you have to realize just the nature of doing the scroll, like having that much control over what you see, it can be addictive and just mm -hmm. normalize that and realize, like, come to this place of like, all right, I need to, um, you know, understand that I can get caught in this behavioral pattern and, and um, then you can do something about it. Um, so I would say, um, you know, if you find yourself falling in that trap, like you know you're going to fall into it, then be intentional to replace the time that you might spend doing that with something else. Um, mm -hmm. Go for a walk, turn on music, um, and, and do something that takes, that's kind of puts your brain into kind of a passive state. So, mm -hmm. you know, like walking, um, you know, I don't know, playing with your kids or, or something that just might introduce this sense of just, um, you know, not being, having to just be on top of things and be in the know and think, you know, mm -hmm. um, what I, about, what about like connections with people? Yeah. Yeah. That's another thing. I think, yeah. you know, we're doom scrolling because there's a sense of fear and worry and we feel like the world is negative and terrible. Mm -hmm. and, talking to your neighbor, you know, kind of putting yourself where you are mm -hmm. while you're there. Um, just having conversations with people around you can give you a more kind of clear picture of, of what the world really is like, you know, mm -hmm. um, where you are. And, um, and, you know, I think people like to, you know, we see this a lot on, you know, various post through social media but people like to kind of go back to the mr rogers thing of you know where he used to talk about find the helpers you know and something bad is going on um find the helpers and so i would say that you know even if in your own life if things are feeling really negative and bad and hard that and that is a reality you know in your mm -hmm. life go and find the helpers because they're there yeah yeah that's really good um so somebody may be watching this or they're probably listening on the podcast. Um, they're like, well, you've just described my current situation. Mm -hmm. What's maybe a final piece of advice that you would give 
uh, to that person that's watching or, or maybe this read the article. Yeah. Um, I think I might say, I kind of want to go practical and then maybe a little more, you know, big picture existential, but, um, gratitude goes such a long way. Mm. Um, and realizing like what there is that is good and and to be thankful for and we like i think as believers we know that um god is on our side and he's given us grace and he sustains us mm -hmm. so there, there's a lot of gratitude in that and i think also a little more bigger picture is that um you know, in this doom scrolling, there's this tendency to think that you can be everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, you, there's this sense of wanting to, needing to be omnipresent and knowing what's going on mm. around the country, around the world. And that that's just, we can't do that. We're, and we're not wow. meant for that. You know, yeah. that's, that's God. That's who he is. And that's what he does. And, you know, just come to reconcile with that <laughs> um, and, and be dependent and trusting in him that um, he's got it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to use that in a sermon. That's kind of going to steal that. that. You know, we, we want to be omnipresent by looking at what's happening in all the world, but that's God's, that's God's job. That's so good. Yeah. Um, and I think the last thing that, um, one of the last things you wrote in, Kind of puts his, puts things back into perspective. It's the John sixteen thirty three. You know, Jesus is about to leave his boys. He tells them, "You're going to have trouble, yeah. but what? Take heart, mm -hmm. be encouraged. He's already overcome the world." Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that's that for me is where I found where you can just breathe and rest in that, knowing that mm -hmm. world may look like it's going up in flames, but we have God. You know, yeah. we can find our joy in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's our hope in all of this. It is.